I know when I first got started, linking your business manager to your Shopify can be really, really confusing. And they've changed up this process so much. So this will be an updated current guide on how to go ahead and link your business manager to your Shopify store. I'm gonna just show you guys everything. I have nothing to sell you. I'm the founder of studying.com. We are about to do a million dollars per year and I'm just here to document my journey to going from a million to a billion dollars per year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and here's a guide. All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Pixel. Go to online store, this is a brand new store. Go to preferences. Go to set up Facebook. This will bring you to here. Add sales channel, connect my account. Now I'm gonna log into my account. Logged in. I'm gonna connect my business manager. Let's see which one is not banned. Okay, this one's the one that's not burned. So I'm gonna connect e-commerce consulting, verify this domain, go ahead and use this ad account. Accept this, accept this, done. Facebook page, I guess let's create a new page. This will called Missy Vibes Women's Clothes Shop. Great page. I'm gonna invite my team to this as well. But the page is now created. The page should be here, so let's refresh maybe. Oh man, okay, everything restarts. Oh no, it doesn't, that's good. Missy Vibes, let's connect that. Targeting, let me go to United States. Accept. Now let me go ahead and add a payment detail to my account. So that didn't work, so I'm gonna just go to here. This is the account, go to business settings. Go to payment methods. Add payment method. And let me go ahead and change this to Australian dollars because my account is in Australian dollars. Next, and let me add these details in. Okay, the card is now added. So let me, I guess, refresh again. Let's try refresh again. Because the payment method has been added. Maybe disconnect. And then let's reconnect. Okay, I'm adding my card again to see what's if that makes a difference. I'm gonna try refresh again. Yeah, it shows up now. Try disconnect again. Disconnect. Yeah, this one should work. What if I disconnect the business manager? Let's try this again. Disconnect the business manager. Okay, it's freezing again. But I'm glad it's this hard for the this tutorial because so that when you guys have it easy, or if you guys do have it hard, you can see it's like I'm dealing with that as well. Come on, fingers crossed. Ah oh, man, why? I guess I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow, guys. Go with maximum, perfect. This is a pixel that would work, confirm. I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. All right, let's... Okay, let me try this on a new browser. Update payment details. It doesn't really work here. Let me disconnect it again. Connect again. It's strange, it just doesn't work. Maybe I have to launch an ad on Facebook first because it keeps loading. So I'm gonna launch an ad on Facebook first and then we'll see if it works. The pixel is working because the pixel's here. Yeah, the pixel's attached. So that's all we need to know. Wow, check this out. I didn't have to do anything and it just sort of, it is now connected with no issues. So yeah. That's how you attach your Facebook pixel, everything you want to do maximum, enable customer data sharing, and now the pixel's working. It's as simple as that. And yeah, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Pretty basic A to Z tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know. Drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value. Peace.